All right, hey, Aaron Marco from Core Performance again today. I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about how I have my SWAT helmet set up. I've got this kind of set up today in how I'd run it uh, for a night vision operation or anything that we're doing in the dark. Um, so I'll talk about a couple of different things that make this unique. Uh, this is the Ops Core helmet, um, but I'm OCD particular about uh, different features, about things that I like. So I've done a couple of things to, to uh, help upgrade the helmet a little bit. Uh, I've outfitted this with the Wilcox three point shroud. Um, I like the hookup in it a little bit better and it has the advantage of having this leash up top. Um, I don't like things hanging out. Unfortunately, like this is not my favorite, uh, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, but having this leash up top basically is a short way of connecting this in case this comes disconnected or gets knocked off. I'm not gonna lose my $10,000 nods to the concrete. Um, so it's got a, a nice advantage to it. The lockup with the Wilcox uh, along with their uh, arm is really solid and uh, the arm itself can lock in here so that there's no way for this to break free in SWAT operations. Um, you know, we're not jumping out of airplanes or anything crazy like that. So I don't need to necessarily worry about this uh, being able to break away from my helmet uh, if I run into something. So uh, attached to the front here, uh, PBS 31As, uh, white phosphor, uh, these things are in fucking incredible. They are next level uh, magic goggles. If you haven't ever played with these before, um, they will absolutely blow your mind. Um, coming from them, especially, uh, I came from a PBS 14 Gen 3's green tubes. Uh, coming to these with dual tubes and being white phosphor, uh, just absolutely outstanding. Uh, on the ends of these are the uh, Tarbok. I'm going to mess up the name. Matbok. Matbok, thank you. Um, and these will allow you to adjust the amount of light that comes in here. So I can adjust the iris just like on a camera. Uh, what that will allow, it reduces the amount of light that comes in here. So I can have focusing uh, both at distance and up close, even though I'm reducing the light that's uh, coming into the lens itself. Uh, this is really nice when you are working indoors or might have to refer to a phone or a map or you know, read something in addition to being able to see far. Um, that way I don't have to mess with my focus as much. I can leave this set to one or the other. Um, can all, open them all the way up if I want to run it at night for that or if I want to just run them all the way down in a daytime setting uh, for almost like a um, daytime cap, you know, setup. So... Interesting design, great setup. Um, I think definitely a useful uh, piece that you can add onto the kit here. The other cool thing I wanna talk about on this setup here, this is the Because Operator camera. Um, this sucker will record 1080p um, straight from what you're seeing on the lens of the camera. Um, an outstanding design uh, that's being improved all the time. Uh, being able to shoot the video that you have under night vision is huge for Law enforcement application for things that happen at night. Usually everybody's just having to take your word for what happened with this. You get to see exactly what the operator saw. So you take this video footage to court and you show it directly to a jury. They can see exactly what you saw um, and there's no debate about it. Um, these, This is a, a Gen 2 setup of the camera and um, this cable is running all the way back here into uh, the back section. I'll, I'll talk about this and then we'll come back up front here. Um, this is the TMVC Mohawk. Um, I like the idea behind this guy because I can pack um, not only my counterweight in here, but um, inside I can get in my battery pack. So I've got everything kind of contained uh, in one piece. Um, the nice advantage to this, uh, not only do I have the weight back here that'll counterbalance all the weight that I have up front, once I plug this guy in, I can go throw this down and I have a pretty slick setup. It's not a whole lot out there that's uh, you know, wiring everywhere and, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I've also got my IFF on top here, uh, secured down. I added a little bit of Velcro underneath the Mohawk itself so it's got a little bit more attachment to it. Um, but for the most part, you know, able to make sure that I'm not losing expensive stuff out here. Now, the way I set up this Mohawk, um, I took the bungees off the front. I hated them. I never used them um, with my goggles anyway, and so they were always either coming loose and annoying the crap out of me or just sitting there doing nothing. So I took them instead and attached them to either side of the Mohawk here, helping keep this thing on here and, and tight. And then when you come here, you can pull the whole thing off, and now you've got a simple setup that you can apply on and off quickly. Um, I generally leave this off for daytime ops. 
um, just so I don't have a bunch of extra crap here that I don't need. Uh, but then when I go to throw it on at nighttime, I've got everything in one place. Um, the other nice part for training, if you're, you know, don't need your combo cords to your headgear, you can wrap them up in here and it keeps it a little bit out of the way. Um, this is another kind of unique setup. This is called the Umbrella Light, or this design was called the Umbrella Light. It came out of some guys that uh, went up to uh, Darcy and um, worked with Mason up there to develop all of this. Um, the idea being that you have an IR source where I can put energy, IR energy up onto the ceiling in the room, uh, kind of like turning the light switch on during the day. Um, I don't have to particularly illuminate the target that I'm looking at because I'm putting that energy into the room. Um, so that allows me to uh, discriminate my target a little bit easier, use uh, pistol sight. If I'm using an optic or something like that, I've got illumination on my target. Uh, it illuminates the target for my partner that may be next to me, all sorts of good stuff. Um, so it works really well under IR. You can also, this is a um, vampire light from Surefire, so I can put it on the white light setting as well. So for after action, if I'm moving room to room, talking to people, I can turn that light on and I'm carrying my umbrella light with me. Um, so an interesting design, uh, good implementation, and uh, definitely has different uh, kind of uses and resources. And then let's see, for the cons here, Uh, these are the TCI's Lib 2's. Um, I've had these for years and years and years and they're still going strong. Um, and it's still got the Iron Forge adapters. Uh, this is old school. If you guys know the Iron Forge stuff, I don't think he's around anymore. Uh, or he sold off to somebody else. But it's still a great design and it's been completely solid ever since I bought it. Uh, it's worked really well. And then on the inside here. Uh, like I said, I kind of am OCD in particular about different things that, uh, that I put in my helmets. Uh, I really love the Team Wendy uh, harness setup with this boa on the back. Once I get this all hooked up and around my head, um, I can, you know, you'll pop this to loosen it, but once it's on here, I can crank it down and it'll adjust this circumference on, of the strap right here. So it's going to hold on to the crown of your head and hold on to it this way, which is really important along with your chin hold. Um, when it comes to night vision, because now you've got the, the helmet not only balanced on your head, but you've got it more stable. So your image isn't going to flicker around or move around on you. Um, so it just, it makes seeing under NVGs a heck of a lot easier and more comfortable. And then on the inside, the Epic Air uh, padding system. I love this. Normally a uh, helmet by, makes the top of my head itch. And, uh, you know, wearing it for 12, 14 hours at a time can start to really give you a headache and everything else. Uh, with this setup, I have not found that to be an issue at all. And with all the different pads that you can put in different places, you can customize this to the shape of your messed up dome and make it as comfortable as you need it, uh, which is definitely important because Lord knows our heads are not shaped the same. So a lot going on in this helmet, but you know, the good part is if, you know, with a few quick things, I can get this into a daytime setup that's lightweight, that's slick, out of the way, right? Or I can drop all of my NVG stuff on there and everything's integrated, goes on quickly, safely, securely, and uh, makes it a nice slick package.